Have you ever had this thought that you live in a place which is ordinary? When you start making excuses to go out and shoot because there is nothing interesting or beautiful to film. I've had this feeling for quite some time. I mean, Latvia is quite flat. The highest mountain is 300 meters, the highest waterfall is 10 meters, there is no blue ass water, and the weather is mostly quite shit. Yet, there have been many times where we pick our asses up and just go shoot. And to be honest, most of the times the shots turn out awesome. And if you think that the only people that are making this sort of excuse live in Latvia, you are dead wrong. I remember last year when we uploaded our drone reel, there was a big comment from this British guy, complaining about how his country is not beautiful and that he needs to travel somewhere in order to get awesome content. And when I saw this, I was like, what? And well, since traveling is on hold at the moment, we just need to go out and make the best out of what we have. So we came up with the ultimate challenge. Drive out to a boring unknown place in our country and do a time-lapse battle. Here are the rules. We have one and a half hours to get at least two amazing five second, at least five second long time lapses. We can go as far as we want, but we have to be back here at exactly one and a half hours. So it's gonna be a fun challenge. The place doesn't look as promising. It's nothing too exciting to say, but that is the challenge. Making something dope out of a simple place. So yeah, let's get it. All right, so what's happening here? Each of us will get to blindly choose <laughs> A lens. So there are six choices 12 mil, 16 mil, 19, 35, 50, and 85. So we blindly select these, and that's gonna be our lens for this contest. Can we get some snow? Oh, shit. What is that toad? <laughs> I'm not looking. I got those 35 mils, you know? You know, that's my favorite mils, you know? Huh. No wide angles this time. Jesus. Right. So. Like, no offense, but 50 mil is the worst focal length ever. It's like, it's not wide enough, nor it's close enough. That's what she said. And by the way, if you're wondering who is this guy, it's Elvis. And he's usually filming stuff like drift and crazy music videos. And fun fact, he has never used the tripod for his project. But still, I'm excited to see what can we come up with. So let's begin. Oh, Jesus Christ, my feet are so wet already. That's what happens when you don't take woolen socks and dress appropriately. Ooh, that looks interesting. Yeah, definitely, guys. Don't wear Jordans when you are going in the snow, especially when it's a deep snow. Goddamn, look at the shadows. Beautiful. So, a little about this challenge. Um, personally, I'm not worried at all. I know that I'm not gonna win, especially with this 50 millimeter. Like, I suck at getting shots with the 50 mil. I worked with it maybe once or twice in my life. Plus, it's a vintage lens, so I'm probably gonna fuck the focusing up. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we're, we're gonna see how it goes. The logical thing uh, would have been for me to go in that house right there, but I didn't wanna do it right now because first time lapse is probably gonna look very bad and it's just gonna be like me warming up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in the forest and try to get the sun flares or whatever because, I mean, <laughs> it's probably overexposed, but you can see that there's no clouds pretty much in the sky, uh, there's no storm happening, there's nothing. I guess Katrina did a really good job at uh, scouting for a location which is really boring. You know how a lot of these times um, these YouTubers when they do challenges they go to epic spots and then they get these amazing pictures and videos. Well, this is the most boring spot you can find out here. So we're just gonna see how it goes. Gonna try to get some good shots, get some good b-roll, get some good time lapses and we'll see how it goes. But first I'm just gonna get some tea, get some sandwiches and enjoy my time and probably Get the worst time lapse you've ever seen in your life. Enjoy. Yeah, I'm standing somewhere near this building. Actually, I don't like to make time lapses. God damn, that's not one of my favorite things because I don't like just the waiting and it's kind of boring. All you have to do just put the camera on a tripod and just stand or sit on a while for a while. I don't know. It's kind of cool because you can see the nature and all that stuff, but uh, I'd rather do some action kind of stuff and you can see my little gear here. All these little prism effects, yo. Looking kind of dope. Sun, snow. So this is currently the setup. The first time lapse is always going to be terrible. So I'm trying to get a time lapse of these uh, the light ray thingies, whatever. But yeah, as I said, it's probably going to be terrible, but 
why not, you know? Personally, I don't feel confident about this challenge at all. I think I'm gonna be placed third. The funny thing is that I don't even know if those uh, light streaks or whatever are moving because it doesn't seem so. I actually was out there and I was hoping to get some dope shots there, but I didn't find absolutely anything to work with. So maybe later on I'm just gonna go for another scout again, but uh, yeah, right now it seems like I'm gonna be staying here for a while. Wow, I didn't thought it was gonna be this difficult because the problem is we don't have ND filters. So even though I have a, an awesome lens, which is the 85 millimeter, I can't utilize the shallow depth of field. Second problem is that this space is quite tight and obviously my focal length is. So if I zoom in too much on a subject, you know, I can't really, I can't even show the clouds. And then the whole point of a time lapse is gone. So I'm gonna move away from the city a little bit. And there's a field with a forest uh, tree line or something. So I think that's gonna be a little better, but damn, uh, I'm 45 minutes in and <laughs> it's so shit. It's so shit. Yeah, so this is basically my next composition. It's the same light play, kind of just uh, shadows on the walls, light on the walls. And as you can see here, it's not really anything interesting, but I mean, maybe if I make it black and white, it's gonna look good. But uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. I, I am definitely at a loss here. All right, so I found my first composition and basically I'm pointing at this tree land right here and I'm sort of cutting off the bottom so you can only see the trees. So it's a really zoomed in shot and I kind of like how simple it is. So I got kind of bored of that one place. I will try to go find another spot. So, but damn, it's a good weather today. How do you feel about this place? It's different. You know, in all these YouTube videos, you see people having these kind of challenges uh, in really dope places with beautiful sunsets, with beautiful clouds and whatever. There's nothing here. It's like the only thing you can utilize is the light. There's no, you have to just take into consideration textures, shadows, and uh, light. You cannot, you know, depend on the clouds, on the trees, on some storms, because there's nothing here. And I actually like this challenge, it's, it's not bad. The time-lapse I'm doing right now, I'm feeling kind of confident about it, and then I'm gonna be going into the big abandoned building, hopefully not get caught on cameras, I'm gonna try to get some dope shots. But Rainus, on the other hand, whoa, he's super far there. <laughs> uh, Rainus, however, I can see that he doesn't look confident at all. Like, rarely ever I see him this not confident, but this time I have a feeling I'm gonna win. I'm not gonna get the first place, but I'm definitely gonna win range. I have a good feeling about it. So I left my camera there, taking some pictures over there, but I found this cool, sp cool spot. I guess it looks kind of creepy, but there's, I mean, nothing to do, but this place is cool. So here you can see the filmmaker in his natural habitat with his girlfriend and you can see he's mooning! Okay, here we go. There's no cameras here, so I'm feeling pretty confident. I don't really care. Oh, fuck me. He does nothing. <laughs> I look safe. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, so I found another one. Now I'm focusing on the rooftops there. So again, a really simple time lapse, but uh, playing around with the clouds. So we're getting somewhere, boys. Let's go. I really hope I don't get lost, though. Yeah, here. Here, it's, it's nothing that impressive. 
And I'm just gonna check out how it looks here, but I can already tell that I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Oh wow. Ooh, okay. Oh no. Don't wanna make too much noise, and I just did. <laughs> Can I capture it in camera? Oh, look at that! <laughs> I still have like 20 minutes, which is not a lot. But the thing is, uh, I got two time lapses. One time lapse, I think it's gonna be good. And I was looking at them, and they were just getting kind of the same time lapses over and over again. You know, like a nature shot here, nature shot there, an object here, object there, a wall here, a wall there. I don't know. And so I wanted to do something a little different. So what I'm doing right now is there's the camera, like right there, right there, and I'm taking a time lapse of myself just sitting here doing stuff, and yeah gonna make it a little bit creepy but uh, I wish I could do one more time lapse because I did get a pretty cool idea but I'm not gonna have time for it so this is gonna be my last one I'm probably gonna make this time lapse like a 15 minute time lapse or something and then five minutes to get back so I don't get disqualified but yeah I'm just gonna enjoy some tea enjoy some sandwiches and yeah let's hope I win so here's my composition so I stand it right there on that uh, thingy but now I'm gonna also do one with uh, without myself uh, see if that looks any better, but yeah, I think this looks kind of nice. All right, but my feet are absolutely wet and full of snow. You can see how deep this thing goes. <laughs> and I walked all the way there, then there, and just like a huge hike. So wet feet, which usually means that you did a good job. Yeah. So yeah, the time is pretty much up. So I'm going back to the car and uh, I don't even know what I learned from this. I think, um, well, it is a challenge, you know, to go to a place where it's not necessarily that pretty or that interesting. Obviously in Latvia, we don't have huge mountains and uh, majestic rivers and all that stuff. But I think it's a good exercise for the eyes, you know, to just see some compositions. And, you know, if you even if you go to a cool spot and suddenly you get uh, some nasty weather conditions, which you didn't expect for, I think, uh, you always need to keep that mindset that, you know, it's still possible to create something dope and that things are not always going to turn out uh, the way you thought they will. So, yeah, this is nice and I'm uh, actually quite excited to uh, jump into Lightroom and edit, edit this stuff and I actually can't wait to see what the other guys created. So, yeah. So, okay, honest uh, boy talk. How was it? What were so, the biggest challenges? Did, do you feel confident that you're gonna get first place? No, definitely not, because I don't like time lapses. I mean, they they are cool, but I don't like just standing around waiting for the shots and all kind of stuff. So, I mean, I like when I'm going, moving, running, doing kind of splits mm. and shit, and, and yeah. <laughs> Hey but uh, is there like one or two time lapses you think that might yeah, be Yeah, they're gonna be cool because uh, definitely I'm gonna post them on my Instagram too, so... Ooh, ooh. Jesus, I was... Okay. Actually, for the first 45 minutes, I didn't have a single clue of <laughs> what I'm gonna film. I was just walking around the place, sort of wanted to feel the atmosphere or see some cool compositions. Basically, I figured out that it's, it's pretty much impossible to create anything here because on such a tight focal length, uh, it's impossible to get subject this big and uh, have the clouds because if I don't if I don't have the clouds it's pretty much it it loses the time lapse loses its point so I went out there a little bit into the forest and framed myself as a subject filmed some houses over there uh, I don't know I guess I'll I guess we'll fix it in post how many time lapses uh, did you get well I got five but four are Quite solid, I think. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, no, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jesus. I got four. But uh, first, like always, is shit. So I think I got three. But here's the thing. I think some of my time lapses will be completely different from you guys. Because I included them, uh, in them, I included myself. 
No, you're not the only one. That God did damn it! Oh! That yeah. was the first one because my you first time was, uh, was with me standing there, actually walking there. Okay, standing is one thing. Okay, standing and looking at shit. I was, walk. I was walking. Oh. Okay. But I have a different one. I have a really interesting one. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, they just smoke crack. All right. Let's see what we got here. This is my first time seeing them. I would say, yeah, Raynus has the cleanest time lapses for sure. His time lapses just feel like really good B roll shots to me. Elvis, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Elvis is probably hate, gonna hate my ass for this, but uh, Elvis's time lapses look something you would get using a phone's app or something. You know, all those uh, video loop app applications on uh, phones where you can like mirror all these, uh, use these mirror effects on everything and stuff like that, these RGB distortions and stuff like that. It's, it's definitely cool. I like it, but uh, I guess it just felt more like snapshots, if that makes it, uh, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, Rainus's time lapses are really, really um, clean, really, really nice. As I said, perfect for some B-roll shots. But uh, I would say my time lapses are a little bit on the creative side. Uh, even though there's nothing too majestic about them, right? I, it just felt like I was um, having a little bit more fun with the light, you know? Uh, with the contrast and with the light. But uh, yeah, I don't know what more else to say, but I would say in terms of uh, what people want to see more um, and what would get you more clients, I think Rainus definitely takes the cake for this one. But uh, hey, I do want to play a little bit more with these uh, prisons. I think that's how you pronounce them. Yeah, I, would, I definitely want to try those uh, out because it looks really, really fun. I think you could come up with like really, really creative shots with that one. But yeah, this was a good challenge. This was a good challenge. I learned a lot. I had a great time and uh, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Honestly, I really liked the results given the fact that the location was so basic and I totally agree with Gunders that he was the most creative in this challenge. I was more into that clean polished look as usual and Elvis took more of an experimental turn here with these prisms and fancy effects. But then again, it's one of his first times doing a time lapse so the fact that he said yes to this and was down for something new already says quite a lot. And hopefully this video can inspire some of you guys out there because the location is not the problem, your camera is not the problem, the only thing standing in the way of creating something dope is you. So cut all the bullshit excuses, get out there and start creating. Peace out.